Cada Naheza presents a new tutorial on the horizontal hydraulic brake press, PP200, entirely fabricated and assembled in our facilities. The new PP200 comes as standard with a multi-V bending die with four openings of 50, 35, 22, and 16 millimeters respectively for different sheet metal thicknesses of 1 to 8 millimeters and an 80 degree punch and 70 millimeters external diameter that allows a completely closed piece to be bent with an internal minimum folding flap of 75 millimeters. We are going to make different practical examples with these standard accessories. First, we bend sheet metal until we get an octagonal shape. To do this, we have marked the eight sides and divided the 360 degrees by eight folds. The angle of each fold is 135 degrees. Shapes with completely closed folds are one of the main applications of horizontal presses. In this case, we make a square shape of 75 millimeters of internal folding flap. These and other types of pieces that we will be showing you below cannot be made with conventional folding machines because there is always a collision with the machine's folding group, preventing it from being able to fully close the geometry. Whenever we want to change a tool or manipulate a die, we must stop the machine for safety. We rotate the die, lock it in, and proceed to make a fold in heavy 10 mm sheet metal. In the resulting piece, we see a slight mark due to the fold. If we want to minimize it, we will change the die for one with a larger opening, making the mark completely imperceptible to the touch. To fabricate pieces with smaller closed folds, we will use this 22 mm diameter punch. When tools are fragile due to their dimensions, it is advisable to adjust the machine's pressure, adapting it to the type of work to be performed. We will change the 85 degree die with a 35 degree die in order to close the angle of the fold further. We will also replace the punch with a 30 degree punch that will allow us to make a shape in the form of a six pointed star. First, we make a series of 12 uniform folds at 105 degrees. And then we repeat the fold by closing the vertices of the points of the star up to 45 degrees. If we want to make folds of up to 150 millimeters high, it is advisable to use the Promacam punch holder. We fasten it to the table. We adjust the parallelism and we can fasten any Promacam system punch.
There are several punches and different dies that can be exchanged indistinctly depending on the work to be done. The folding system of horizontal folding machines allows you to easily bend an angle frame, closing it completely. There are die systems, such as the Rolla 5, that avoid any kind of mark on the fold and are especially suitable for pieces that do not have any type of finish, paint, or subsequent treatment. We can bend thick wall tubes to a maximum of 120 degrees in different sizes and always with a fixed internal bend radius. It is very simple to change size. We place the dolly blocks in the proper position and the mold corresponding to the size of the tube to bend. We can also fold square bars of up to 30 by 30 millimeters. The tube must always be thicker than 10% of its diameter. In other words, a 15 millimeter tube like the one we are bending must have a side greater than 1.5 millimeters so that it does not deform during the bending process. With the same tool, we can bend solid square bars. We place the punching tool in position, fix it with bolts to the press head, and fasten the die to the table. The extractor has different openings depending on the size of the punch that we use. We insert the 45 mm die in the base holder. We fit the punch onto the thread. We adjust the limit switch so that the punch is inserted 2 mm into the die. We lower the extractor and we adjust it so that it passes the sheet metal. We adjust the limit switch so that the punch goes back 2 mm inside the extractor. We place the correct sized lateral stop and the tool is ready to pierce the piece.
we want to increase the durability of punches and dies, it is important to lubricate them periodically. The punching tool has two lateral supports that help us adjust the height where we want to make the hole. There is also the possibility of positioning the punch and the square die in a rhomboidal shape. Prada has an extensive catalog of punches and dies with different shapes and sizes. We can flare 16 to 50 millimeters tubes so that they can be welded at 90 degrees. We can fabricate different types and shapes of tabs, with and without holes, with a single blow. With a large radius bending bar die, we can perform all types of bending. By properly adjusting the machine's limit switch, we get diameters that are more or less large. The capacity and robustness of the machine allow for the bending of flat bars up to 140 by 20 millimeters without a problem.
widening and reducing tubes up to a diameter of 73 millimeters. This time, we are reducing a 2 millimeters thick tube with a diameter of 60 millimeters to 57.5 millimeters in order to insert one inside the other. It is important to grease those tools that have a lot of friction in order to increase their durability, improve the finish of the piece, and to facilitate their removal. This tool can fabricate circular shapes with an outer diameter of 90 millimeters in order to join or decorate wrought iron bars and bend handrails at different angles. The bar straightening die is used both for straightening and bending. Depending on the capacity of the bar, we join or separate the support points. We adjust the machine's pressure according to the bar in order to straighten or bend it without using the limit switches. We position the cutting die and fix it to the machine head. We adjust the limit switch for a maximum opening. Depending on the thickness to cut, we adjust the point of support to the minimum in order to obtain a good cut. The Flat Press PP200 has an extensive catalog of ways to make different types of bars. We set the tool on and place the caps on to protect it from the metal shavings that come off during the bending process. We insert the bolts We grease the friction points and then the machine is ready to produce.
We make adjustments in accordance with the material depending on the thickness. We place the lateral stop and we can fabricate clamps to join bars of different shapes. Depending on the size of the piece that we're assembling, we can bend different thicknesses of steel. Together, they form braids to fabricate bars and railings. To prevent shavings from entering the table, along with the machine, plugs and Allen drive studs are supplied that are easily interchangeable, depending on the die to be set up. Adjustable stop for different positions. We can place it both on the right as well as on the left of the machine, depending on the piece to be fabricated. Pressure regulator. Piece counter. Hold safety pedal. If the pedal is pressed down abruptly, the machine stops automatically. Tool shelf. Possibility of moving the machine easily for both work and storage in case of lack of space. Folding adjustment. We activate the main switch, reset with the blue button, then press the green on button and activate the automatic mode. First, we adjust the reverse limit switch just so that the material enters easily. We activate the machine in manual mode and adjust the fold angle with the forward limit switch just before achieving the desired degree of folding. We switch to automatic mode and check the measurement. We have not reached the desired 90 degrees. Then, moving only the limit switch, we correct the angle and we repeat the folding. In this way, the fold adjustment to the desired degrees is much faster and more accurate. Adjustment of the die holder. To make a good adjustment, we set and fix on the die with the smallest opening, lifting it a millimeter from the table so that it does not rub it. In manual mode, we get closer until it fits together with the punch without making excessive pressure. It is therefore advisable to adjust the pressure regulator to the minimum. Once adjusted, we fasten on the die holder. We activate automatic mode so that the machine goes backwards. We stop it for safety and we are ready to change the opening or the die with the guarantee that it will always be centered.